Today's shoutouts go to these guys. If you want a shoutout in the next video just leave a like and tell me in the comments for how long have you been playing Blocks Fruits. Ok so first step, hardest one in my opinion, is spawning a rip Indra boss. He spawns here, and in order to spawn him we first need to activate 3 buttons here at the castle on the sea island. But the requirement to activate each of these 3 buttons is that you need to have each of the 3 legendary hockey colors. If you wanna know how to get every hockey color, including the 3 legendary ones, I already made a video about it so check it out if you want. So getting these colors is the hardest part of getting this legendary sword because you need 22,5k fragments and personally it took me 100 plus server hops. But yeah, you will have to get that. And when you get that go to the floating turtle island mansion and set the spawn point there. That's because here you can change your hockey color so you can activate the buttons. Here is the NPC. Talk to him, scroll down and enable winter sky hockey color. If you followed the tutorial I told you earlier to check out you should have it. So now go back to the castle on the sea island and follow where I go. If you are still watching make sure to leave a like and a sub to let me know that you find this video helpful so I can make more good tutorials. Here is the winter sky hockey color button, just walk over it to activate it. Now reset your character, if you set the spawn point at the floating turtle, to get faster to the mansion. Now enable pure red hockey color. Here is the button for pure red, I already activated it so it's green. And lastly Snow White. Here is the last button. Now I will show you the pattern that you need to learn when we spawn the Rip Indra boss. So when you spawn the Rip Indra boss you will have to walk through a certain portal which will teleport you to Floating Turtle Island. Here you will have to light 5 torches at the certain spots which I will show you right now. I won't speed up this part in order for you to able to see everything Yeiser. Here is the first spot. Also you have to light up these torches in the exact order I show you. Second torch. third spot Fourth one. And here is the last fifth torch. Lighting up all of these torches will open you a secret entrance to a room where the Longma boss is located. And killing the Longma boss will give you the Tushita. Let me show you where this secret entrance is located. Here it is, it's open for me but for you this will door will be locked. Now let's get back to the spawning Rip Indra boss and starting all of this. So in order to spawn Rip Indra boss you will need God's Chalice. It's a rare drop either from chests or elite NPCs. You can talk to this elite hunter every 10 minutes and he will tell you where is the elite NPC. So just grind them in chests until you get a God's Chalice. After killing like 5 elite NPCs I got one from a chest. Now just go here and put this here. If it says this that means you have done it correctly. Now just ignore him and go to the Hydra Island as fast as possible. Now that you are here follow where I go, if you watched my Yama tutorial then you know where the waterfall is, go there. Enter the lower portion of this waterfall. Break this Dora with an observation breaking move, 
For example Serpent Bow Z move. Kill the 5 ghost NPCs here, I already killed them when I got my Yama. Now if you are level 2000 plus you should be able to go through this part of the wall. Enter this portal and boom we are in Floating Turtle Island. Now I will follow the route that I showed you earlier and light up all the torches with this flame. Okay so now that we light up all the torches the secret entrance to the long the boss room is open. Let's go there and kill him. There he is. Yay! I got it! Now let me grind out the mastery so I can show you the moves. Wow pretty cool moves, also this sword is really off for combos not gonna lie. So are yeah guys. If you have any issues or problems getting this sword make sure to tell me down in the comments I'm happy to help. Thank you so much for watching and see you soon.